We're now going to continue to test extraocular muscle function by means of evaluation of the cardinal positions of gaze. Because the rotational action of the obliques and vertical recti muscles cannot be easily assessed, the eye must be moved into six diagnostic cardinal positions of gaze that best isolate the vertical actions of these muscles in order to test their innervations. The oblique muscles are tested in adduction, adduction, that's with the eyes turned medial toward the nose, to maximize their vertical action. In contrast, the vertical recti muscles are tested in abduction, abduction, that's with the eyes turned laterally. In these positions, the rectus, the superior rectus muscle, acts now as a pure elevator, and the inferior rectus acts as a pure depressor. We're now going to test extraocular muscles. In order to do that, the examiner stands about two feet in front of the patient and stabilizes the patient's jaw. The other hand is placed with one finger in front of your nose, and the patient is asked to follow your finger as you go through the six cardinal positions of gaze. David, I'd like you to follow my finger. Okay, don't move your head, and follow it out here. You bring it out to about 15 or 18 inches from midline, all the way up here, and now we're testing the inferior oblique of David's right eye, the superior rectus of his left eye. As I bring the finger down, I notice the position of his eyes, being careful not to poke the eyes. We're now testing the superior oblique of his right eye and the inferior rectus of his left eye. Bring him back to mid position. We're going to now switch hands. David, just follow my finger as we go all the way to the right, testing the medial and lateral recti coming all the way up here, now testing the superior rectus of the right eye and the inferior oblique of the left eye. As we come inferiorly, we'll elevate the lids again to test the inferior rectus of the right eye and the superior oblique of the left eye. We're coming back to mid position. David, I'd like you to watch my finger very carefully as I bring it in close, and we're now testing convergence of the eye, and we will then conclude this assessment in this position. 